What is up, Bespies? You are back with the Gaming Killer B, and I am back with some more Detroit Become Human. In the last video, the last chapter, we saw Marcus and a bunch of his Android friends getting into some craziness. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, that means you haven't seen the video yet. I recommend it. One of my favorite. Link is down below. Make sure you click that. Watch that video. I also have a link to all of the other videos, um, the other chapters that I played if you missed any of them. You can check those out down there. Once you're done with that, swing back by watch this video. That way you're caught up with the rest of us. For those that have watched every single one of these videos, thank you so much. You are definitely the best beat. So without further ado, enough of me rambling. Let's get back into the next chapter of Detroit Become Human. Looks like snow. Oh, it was like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. There's a cop chilling outside, okay. dude. Let's get going. Jesus. Watch your head, Hank. Oh, hey, he said we could get out this time. Normally, it's like you wait in the car. I'll handle it. So far, so good. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? That's stupid. Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get out of here. Uh, it's starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. Oh boy. Investigate the crime scene. Okay. That's what we do best, right, Connor? Cardiac arrest. No sign of cardiac event. Heart attack. No cause. Not cause of death. Severe bruising. Signs of strangulation. Michael Graham. Time to reconstruct. prove anything though. Could have been a rough play. I'm oh, not done. We're missing your face. Here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what how that works. I can try. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. You love that. Blood. Driver's license says Michael Graham. Credit card, cash in the wallet. Sorry, I was listening to him talk because I knew this would cut him off. Picture his wife damaged. and his daughter. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh boy, here we 
go. And just strangle. You were damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. It was. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. Yeah, right. No. Knowing it couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find they a deviant every among other all the time. other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Now don't worry, Connor's got it. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. So what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Uh, uh sorry, honey, changed my mind. Not the personal. You're a lovely girl. I just, uh, you know, I'm with him and. Uh, I mean, let's try this one. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. Oh boy, here we go again. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? You're just gonna have to keep spending money. I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. Yeah. Yeah. It is right there. See it on the left. Boom. I feel like I can do this one with these dudes. Boom, 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 boom. Don't find it. You always do. Like one of these. 
Stop looking down. There she is. Been hid in a room. Get him. Her, get her. This android, right? Oh, is there some over here? Oh, yes. Oh, there. Got it. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. It is crazy, dude. I don't know what to tell you, man. Oh, wait. Where was it? Where was that door? Wait. I'll take it from here. That's fine. That way if we lose it, it's on you. Get tossed out. That was close. Don't move! Whoa. I know a bunch of chick androids. I'm ready. I'm ready. What the heck? Nothing 
to do with any of this. You were talking, you were attacking two cops. What do you expect? When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. Is she crying? Stop, but he wouldn't. Or is that the rain? So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've, you've taken her away from me. Sorry. I love her. I loved her. Oh my gosh. so bad oh man i just like i don't know i don't know what i was thinking in that moment when i shot her it's like spare or shoot because i feel like if we spared her she was gonna run away and they were both gonna get away and then it was gonna be like the ones before oh my gosh why why choice games man they're so intense Best Bees, what did you think of that chapter? That one was crazy. I'm obviously going to have to cut quite a bit of that out because a lot of that stuff isn't, like, we don't need to be putting that on YouTube for people to see. But the majority of that was so sick. So hopefully you liked it. If you did, hit that like button down below for me. I always appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and put a subscribe button right there. Make sure you click that. Become one of the Best Bees. Leave some comments down below. What did you guys think of my decisions? Do you, are you guys happy with what I did? Would you guys have done the same thing? Would you have shot her or spared her? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.